Okay, this is the obvious use that you would use this poncho for. Uh, it fits over the pack, uh, whether you've got a backpack on, or you can see I've got the uh, there's Sabercat on here. Fits really well over it. So that's the obvious use. So let's take a look at it as an emergency shelter. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I've always packed one of these in my packs. I have several of these, and I'm going to take you through uh, the setup that uh, you could possibly do. There's many configurations. I'll just take you through one of them to show you how I would set up. You know, if you wanted to wait out a, you know, a rain, uh, if you get stuck to where you do need some shelter, how this would look. So uh, these are really small. This is a ripstop nylon, and I do have a couple additional things in this just to aid in that. It's only uh, some little small tent stakes. They're steel, they're shepherd hooks, and actually I have uh, cut these down. I'll give you a closer view. And on the ends, I wanted to show you that I just to keep them in a bag to keep anything from uh, punching through the poncho. I've just got a little tape on the end of it just to protect it a little bit. And so we're going to start out. And uh, forgive me if I go out of frame, but I'm going to try not to. Move some of these sticks out of the way. And you can see this is a regular poncho. Uh, this is large enough to where it would fit over your pack. And uh, like I mentioned, it's made out of ripstop nylon, so it's really durable. Uh, it's lightweight. And on this, I'm just going to uh, unsnap all the snaps on it. Lay this out. I'm going to take one of the stakes, take it through the grommet on the back end, and just step it down into the ground. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to take the other corner. And my uh, trekking pole, I'm going to take it. I'm going to remove the uh, end off for, this, for the soft surfaces, stick that in my pocket. It has the uh, little pointed end here that's you know near the barrel so that fits up through the grommet really nicely. And before I get started on that, I'm going to take this front end that has the grommet on it, grab another tent stake, I'm going to bring it in at an angle. And I think what I'm going to do is try to uh, put my pole up in the center to start with before I do that. Then I'm going to take the other end of it. I'm going to place it in the ground also. So you can see uh, with the pole adjustment, you can raise it to uh, whatever height to get it a little taunt. The back end of it that had the uh, hood in it, it does have, uh, I don't know if you can see that from there, uh, a couple of boards just to tighten it down. You can actually twist this hood together and just cinch it down with the cords that were on there to keep that a little watertight. And if you wanted to, you could take a little paracord on the uh, hood of it, actually tie it up to a tree to give you a little bit more room in there. And let's take a look inside of it. It's a little tight, but if you had to wait out of rain, uh, wanted to get some shelter, uh, this is certainly a way you could do that. Like I said, I'd mentioned that this is one of the configurations. There's other configurations. 
but this is why I carry it in my pack other than the obvious, the rain. If you needed the shelter, uh, you got that, or if you needed to cover up your equipment, keep yourself dry, you certainly could do that. So that's just uh, one idea. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching the video.